Well, friends, I was wrong. I admit it. In past videos, I've said that a smash burger or burger isn't a burger without American cheese. And that was a mistake. I'm evolving, right? We're, we're allowed to evolve in this cooking thing or a YouTube thing. We're allowed to evolve, right? I've got your next smash burger recipe right here. And I may never put American cheese on a smash burger after this ever. Well, maybe. Nah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I ate a burger a few weeks ago at Firestone's Kitchen in Erie, Pennsylvania. And this burger was a double smash patty. It had pimento cheese on it and it had pork belly on it. And it was fantastic. Fantastic. But it got me thinking. This cheese spread way of adding maybe the second most important aspect of a smash burger, the beef and the crust being the first, I just knew it was something I needed to tinker with. Just knew it. So after a few weeks of trying my own way to recreate this similar style cheese spread, shout out to Chef Firestone and the, the crew over at Firestones for starting me on this idea. For me, this was new and so I'm sharing it with you as it's new to me. And this particular way of doing this cheese spread idea on a smash burger is the absolute best way that I've done so far. After maybe six, seven, six or seven tries. This is a double smash burger with bacon and chipotle pepper and adobo sauce cheese spread. Now here are the ingredients for what you're going to need to make two double smash burgers. If you want to make more, just double, triple, quadruple, however many you wanna make. You're gonna want a half a cup of grated extra sharp cheddar cheese, a quarter cup of mayo, doesn't matter which kind, you pick your favorite. Two tablespoons of cream cheese. I've tried the regular kind and I've tried this whipped kind and I like the whipped kind the most. Two tablespoons worth of chopped chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. You can get them in a can like this or you can make them yourself, but honestly, the canned is absolutely great. So save yourself a step, save yourself some time. You're gonna need one diced up garlic clove, a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika, and I've tried this both ways with smoked paprika and regular paprika. Smoked is my favorite. You're gonna want a pinch of salt and about 10 to 15 cranks from the pepper mill. Now, most importantly, stir it all up and combine it and taste it. If it's not seasoned enough for you, add a little bit more salt and pepper and then taste again. Now, after you've got your cheese spread seasoned the way you like, go ahead and add a couple little, little scooches of hot sauce into that cheese spread. If you want, you don't have to. I've tried this with a bunch of different hot sauces and Tapatillo is my favorite way to go with this combination. Combine that all in a bowl and cover it and put it in your fridge for about an hour. This is actually pretty important. It really needs this time in your cool fridge to really let those flavors meld together. You know what I mean? And you're also going to want a thick slice of onion. Now I'm making my smash burgers on the Halo Elite two burner griddle. Now let's start with thick bacon and toast your buns. I like my bacon a little crispier than usual, than, than a lot of people. So I kind of tend to just go right up to burning it. That's just how I like it. You cook your bacon however you like your bacon. And now add on that thick cut of onions, similar to that popular Flying Dutchman burger that uh, you may have seen going around. And I like to toss my onion right in that bacon grease. Once your bacon's done, place your balls right on that hot griddle. I'm using quarter pound balls. Now let your balls sit on that griddle for about a minute and then smash. Give them a little dust of salt on that first side. And then once you see the edges of the meat become brown and moisture begins to really build up on top of the burger, scrape it and flip it. Scoop your cheese spread onto the patties and spread it as best as you can. Don't worry about being perfect here. Add a splash of water and cover your burgers for about 30 seconds. And done. Stack them, plate them with the onion first, then add the burgers, then add the bacon. Here you go. Enter the cheese dome. It's got the perfect amount of spice, tang, acidity, creaminess, gooiness. Man, if you make this recipe, you have gotta come back to this video and comment down below and tell me what you thought of it. I really wanna hear from you on this. Now I'm hoping it may have changed your life. And as always, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.